What's up guys? Welcome to the Twisted Leaf Rod Shop YouTube channel. Today's episode we're going to do a little rush repair on the cab of the 63. Stick around. As you can see here, we've got some uh, rocker panel stuff. It's actually not too bad, it's just got some little holes in it. You know, that's solid, that's solid, that's solid. It's just got a couple of spots. We'll do some little patches and then, uh, you know, got stuff like this. Whole floor's not too bad except for, you know, <laughs> ooh, got the, that's air conditioning. That's all that is, air conditioning. So we'll, uh, we'll see what we can do about fixing that. The bad thing is though, this little piece you see right here, that's the cab race and that's underneath. So I want to replace that as well before I do these things. Um, and then I'm gonna have to replace that hole there too. So I think what I want to do is I want to, uh, I want to flip this cab over on its back. So let's get this moved out of the way, doors closed, and we'll see if we can flip it over. Well, I wanted to get her higher up, but uh, that'll work, I guess. I can get down to it, so let's see here. That guy's pretty bad, but up here, I mean, that's super solid. And the backside's really not too bad, so I'll probably just weld in some new stuff there. The inner rocker is really solid, especially on this side. This side had the least amount of floor rust, too, so we'll, uh, we'll do what we can to replace those things. I might even be able to replace that piece from right here. Just maybe a new piece there. Be good to go. Um, this side's a little bit different. This brace is more gone. You can see it's all the way up in here. This is why I wanted to do this with this off too, because you know, if, if I mounted it to the chassis, then I wouldn't be able to get to this as easily. So um, I've got the uh, the tools and the things that I need to do it. So let's just do it. But anyway, uh, piece there. I'll go ahead and replace that piece of the, oh, sorry. I'll go ahead and replace that piece of the floor while I'm here too, because it's super easy to get to. And then all we'll really have to do when we get in there is this piece and then the rocker, which the uh, inner rocker on this side is pretty good too. That back cab brace has a little bit um, of problems to it, but it's not too bad. I can do that when it's on the on the truck, so or on the chassis. But we'll get this stuff replaced too. So let's get started. We're back out here now. It's been raining. It's kind of hard to tell, but anyway, there's the bedside I shortened the other day. So this morning I shortened down that bedside there. Anyway, um, but I think it's done raining. At least I hope it's done raining. So let's uh, let's get going here. I don't have any metal just yet. I was planning on using the pieces from the bedside that I cut down, but that area cut out too big. So we'll do the floor braces and we'll go get some metal. Um, I don't actually don't have any floor, floor braces, but I do have this guy here. This truck, this bed is a long bed, so it's got extra uh, bed braces. So I think I'm just gonna cut that sucker up and weld her in here. So let's get started on that. If it if it starts raining again, we're gonna stop. So we'll see what happens. All right, need to do a little bit more work up in there, but you can see I've got a few welds over there and welds over here, and I welded on the backside too. So. It's not uh, not the factory brace, but it's got the, the flanges on both sides, just like the factory one would, and it's nice, strong, thick metal. So we'll finish up that corner. I might put a little piece of plate in there, uh, clean up the wire wheel and weld it in. But that should be, if I left it just like that, it'd be good enough. So I need to do a little rush repair in this corner. Um, but I might do that when I do the floor. Maybe I'll do that first, I don't know yet, but we'll get all this taken care of now. So plate there, plate there, floor. be i judged my weld in there i had to do a little stitchy stitch this bottom piece i'll weld in when i put the the floor plate in so i know y'all are gonna bitch and moan and say oh you know you did it wrong blah 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 well you know what better than some spray foam 
It's better than some uh, license plates. You know, rust is gone on that part. So there you go. It'll be covered up anyway. Um, next thing I need to get some metal for this. Um, but let's do this other cab brace real quick. Now, should I use the brace on that one? Cause it's a lot, right there's the right height. Right there's the right height, but over here it's thicker. I could bend me up something and weld her on there. Let me, let me ponder on that. Thor paid me up some metal. You really get a sheet of metal if you don't do this with it? Oh, hang on, let's do it like this. Well, that fits terrible. Let's use it, but it's a little thin. This is what they had there at the, the hardware store. So let's put some, uh, let's put some beads in it. You guys want to see how to make some beads without a bead roller? Check out my video top right corner. Well, there you go. Started raining on me, so I hurried up and welded it real quick. But she's all welded except for around that little guy there because he's got a little bit of rust in him. So I'm going to attack that from the inside. But then I sprayed some paint on it just to keep it from rusting. Looks pretty good, really. I mean, my little bead roll almost matches that. But you got to think, this thing's up high. You're going to have fender well and tire and all that right there. You'll never really see that. So then on the inside, it'll be covered in carpet. Hadn't welded the inside yet, but... Got a little paint on that guy too. Doesn't look great, but hey, way better than it was, and it's stronger for sure. So we'll uh maybe tomorrow if it's not raining. We'll get in here and we'll finish up that, you know, get her down into place and then what what we'll do, we'll weld all around wherever we need to weld. And then all these little things here, that's just paint. But all this stuff here will start coming this way with it. And all these things as well. And then that one I'm not sure if I'm gonna do just yet or not. We'll see. Definitely needs to be done, but I'm gonna wait. And then that far side over there, I'll definitely do too. So might work on this part tomorrow. Okay, it's the next day. Uh, not raining today. Don't Doesn't look like it's gonna rain today. Nice and solid. The paint looks good. Look at that. That's just some engine enamel. Well, looks good. Maybe we'll do the whole firewall on that. Anyway, um, got some more floor repair to do on this side. And then the piece over there that I showed you guys in the last clip. So I think what I want to do actually is I think I'm gonna move these jack stands forward a little bit. And then I'm going to lift the back of the cab so the whole thing's off the ground. So if I need to, I could roll underneath it with the creeper or I could get into it. But having the doors like this makes it really awkward and weird to get in there. So I think that's what I'm going to do next is, uh, like I said, scoot these forward, lift the back of the cab up. It'll also make it easier when I do go to uh, put the cab back on the chassis. It'll already be up quite a bit. So let's work on that. jack stands on all four corners i'm gonna go ahead and leave this hooked up because it's a little bit wobbly and if i'm gonna be in it on it around it i don't want them to get hurt or nothing and i've got that jack up there as well so that's holding the front the other stuff's holding the back the jack stands are holding all four corners i feel confident at least getting in it i don't know that i feel confident getting underneath it but we'll definitely give her a go so we'll uh we'll see what we got with this one we'll see if we can get these floor repairs done now Get started. All right, got her all stitch welded. Got that corner all welded up too, nice and solid. Added another piece in there for a little bit of extra support around the pedals and around that uh, cab brace. So now I'll uh, seam seal it all. And then uh, this whole thing will get bedlined when I'm done with all of it. I still need to do all these things here, but seam seal it all, bedline it. And then uh, you, it'd be really hard to tell, honestly, where most of this is with the bedliner. And then of course, you know, it's gonna get insulation and carpet and all that kind of good stuff. And you'll never see it, but nice and sturdy. All right, got out all the rust there, I bet too. But we're solid, we're solid everywhere now. Up under there is not great, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make this, this piece, the top of the inner rocker. And it's decent, it's not great, but it's decent. 
I'm gonna make it go underneath that, come over, and then go down. And then I'll, I'll drill holes in this and plug welds on the backside. So that'll all be one piece, that'll be the structure. And then this outer rocker piece will go up that way, and then it'll have this little lip, so it'll be up to there. So I'll cut it, weld it in here, so on and so forth. <sighs> yeah, fun stuff. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough metal, because that's pretty much all I have left of the new metal, so I might think there'll be some more, but I think I'm gonna have to make this in two pieces anyway, because I'm sliding underneath that. So one piece there, one piece there. This front piece could probably be made out of one piece. We'll see if I have enough, so. Stick around. You can see what I'm going for there. Got a couple extra uh, strength hits in it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So then this piece will come over here. You won't see much of that. That's just that rain channel. So yeah, we'll uh, finish off back here, do that piece, and then we'll work on this guy next. All right, there it is. Finish weld on this a little schmoo. I got my uh, line in there for the trim or the seal. Floor is replaced all the way up. Golly, that took forever. Ton of welding, but golly. All the rest on this side's gone. We'll hit her with some paint, and then, uh, like I said, this will get body worked and painted uh, body color, and then uh, all this will be bed linered. So this, I'll put a little bit of extra attention on, but I flange that weld-in piece underneath here, so it's got a little bit of a divot there, so it'll be good for a little bit of Bondo. Not much, just a little bit. We'll be good to go. All right, so I got that front patch in, a little patch there. A little bit down here, just that little bitty guy worth the rest there. So I got that done once again, fully weld and bondo. Got her painted just so that uh, she doesn't rust in between now and the bondo stage. Same thing over there. I don't know if I showed you all that or not, but uh, got her painted up. So that's about everything. Still got this hole here. I'll worry about that later. Um, this will take care of it for the most part, though. So there we go. Listen, guys, it's been a lot of work. Okay, hit that subscribe button for me, please. Trying to get over a thousand subscribers with this build and uh you know i know that i may not have patched this floor in the way that a lot of y'all would have done it but you know this is how they used to do it back in the old days they didn't have patch panels you had to make them so uh that's what i did anyway if you guys don't like it leave me a comment down below i'll talk to you about it all night long thanks for watching